A handful of climbers have achieved 514 on lead rope solo, mainly elite sport climbers with ample margin. I've long thought this was an inspiring showing of self-sufficiency. I even wondered if I could pull off this feat, but for me, it would take serious system refinement. This crag is a top access cliff, with each route beginning at a repellent point along a scrambly base. Since you can't walk between the routes, it was actually a convenient solo project. I enjoyed the routine of dropping in alone and giving my attempts with a lovely backdrop. This open project was bolted a few years back by a local climber and awaited an ascent. It is a mixed protection route up a striking basalt column, but the difficulties are both protected. I love this kind of tech or rat climbing and got hooked on trying it this fall, spending 13 days of effort to send the route, putting it up there with my longest projects and most difficult free climbs. This lead rope solo ascent was a culmination of multiple years of research, trial and error, and even small gear innovations. If you are interested in my techniques, I recently wrote an in-depth blog post for my website co-written with a good friend and collaborator for many of these system improvements. Perhaps the feat I am most proud of is that none of the 30 plus lead attempts were foiled due to system snags. An indicative streak if you know how rope solo free climbing usually goes. A gear protected 12 minus intro leads up to a comfy rest dance. From this ledge, the clean column starts, creating sustained climbing of ever-increasing difficulty. The two hardest moves are back-to-back -back right at the end. Shown here with a flick of the wrist is a cash loop drop. Using a release ring to hold the bite of rope, I can begin the next auto feeding loop by pulling the strand across my body. I calibrated my loop lengths to only have to do one cash drop for the whole column section with relatively unencumbered climbing in between. With a tenuous shake to regroup, I charge into the crux section at the last two bolts. The features here are small, far apart, and generally facing the wrong direction.
After sticking the high foot dead point, another ledge appears and the difficulties are over. Above, the line continues out a 30 foot finale of steep heroic jugs, mantling out to the flat picnic meadow above where my snacks and lawn chair await. This video is a spliced up early lead attempt. The true free ascent was a peaceful day alone at the crag, just like I was hoping for. It was surreal to catch that jug side pole after falling so many times on that last hard move.